Today's video is going to be all about cutting sheet music. Whether you're a professional singer that's going to go for an audition, whether you're a student that wants to audition for drama school, what I'm going to do is show you the way that I personally cut sheet music for a drama school audition. Now, there are loads of different ways that you can cut sheet music. Loads of pianists and MDs have the preferred way. Some colleges that offer musical theatre courses will have specific way that they want everybody to do it. Other colleges will leave it up to you to do it. Um, some MDs will say, please can you cut it like this? Can you use pencil? Don't use a pen, don't use a highlighter, whatever. Um, I'm just going to be showing you where that I personally do it. And I've had some really good feedback from the MDs and pianists in auditions about the way that the sheet music's prepared. Um, if you watch this video and think, oh, well, I was working with a pianist or an MD that said, actually, can you use this symbol? Or can you use this line? Or can you use this bracket or this whatever? Um, that's absolutely fine. Um, I've worked at places before where there's been a policy for cutting sheet music that is completely different to the way that I would do it. At the end of the day, the sheet music just needs to be clear. So you've gone through your audition requirements. Um, some places will ask you for a three minute cut. Some places will ask you for 32 bars. Some places will ask you for a minute. Some places will ask you for two minutes so you've got to be really well prepared in advance and think these are the pieces that I've discussed with my singing teacher and that I've decided that I'm going to take with me um, this video is not really going to be talking about what to choose or to take to an audition that could be a future video and there are certain rules and things that you want to bear in mind when you're picking a piece of music for an audition okay so the piece that I've chosen to go through today is Carrie from the musical Carrie the most important thing that you're doing is showcasing your voice and showcasing your ability to perform this piece of music in the most effective possible way and that means you need to tell a story that has a beginning a middle and an end the tools that you're going to need to cut your sheet music are a ruler a pencil a highlighter and a bright pen. Now, like I said before in the introduction, this is just my opinion, this is just the way that I like to do it best. So there's a three-step process to cutting your music. You've decided what cuts you're gonna make, you're gonna put those on your music first, so you're gonna cut the sections first, and the third thing is to mark on essential markings for the pianist. Time changes, key changes, essential tempo markings, essential dynamic markings, or any awkward chords or anything like that. So, I'm looking through and I'm thinking this is loads of piano that's unnecessary, I don't need any of that. And then there's a little exclamation there that she makes. I don't really need any of that either because it's not getting straight into the story. Um, so actually, there's a nice note there for the piano that you can act as like a little bell note. And that's where I'm going to start. So what I would do is I just disregard that and I take my pen and I'd make this page one. So I'm going to write on top, carry like this. So just say I was going to have an introduction, I'll do it both ways for you. It was just maybe going to have like one bar. What I would do is I'd take my highlighter pen like this and I'd think, right, I'm going to have one bar of introduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bracket that goes like that and it encloses everything. So that's the bar that I start at. So to make it even clearer, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna get rid of everything else. I'm not gonna play any of that. Then I'm gonna write this at the top. I'm gonna to write start with a little star. And then I'm gonna take my ruler because we like to be dead neat. And I'm gonna draw in the bracket, even though it's highlighted as well. So that looking at this piece of music, you know that's your introduction and that's where you're going to start. The way that you can start is to ask for a bell note. And a bell note is just basically where you have your starting note and the pianist gives you a little octave. So it'll, this is an A, so it'll give you an A and an A like that up at the piano, just so that you've got a starting note to come in on. What I'm going to do is take my highlighter again and I'm going to bracket that section off. That's where I'm going to start. This is going to be my next cut, so I've decided I'm going to jump from carry there, so I enclose the bracket that way. So it was brackets around the bar that you are singing. So I bracket it off there, and I've decided that I'm actually, instead of doing that G minor section there, I can just do the one there, because it's sort of repetitive. So again, I'm singing this bar, so I'm going to bracket that section off there like that. So when I get to this page, I've decided that I'm going to cut these two bars, and there's a word there that I want to put there. So I want to go stop, when will they, when will they, when will they, into the next section. So I don't have these two bars, which is just going to take up a little bit too much time. And it really doesn't add anything to it, really. So I'm going to put a little bracket around here. And then I'm going to put it there as well. So you know you're going from there to there. 
then I've decided to cut here again. So when I get to carry, carry, I'm going to this D chord, I've decided I'm going to miss all this out because it's really repetitive. I'm actually going to skip two pages to there instead. I'm going to put my bracket to show that I'm going to cut from there. And then I'm going to end up here at the top of the page. So remember, this is just the first step of me actually bracketing it off. I'm going to tidy it up in a second. So I'm going to carry on all the way through here, all the way through there. And then I end up with my last couple of pages. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut from this page where it goes to the key change, finish on an F chord there. So I'm going to just cut that section and I'm going to leave this D bit out and I'm going to sort of keep the F chord, but it does change key again. So I'm going to go there now and then I'm going to go all the way to the end. So now that I've marked in the structure of my piece, I can get rid of the front page because I'm not using it. I can go and tidy up all of those little brackets. So now I've bracketed off exactly where all my cuts are going to go, I'm going to start to put all the details in. So I do it page by page. I've decided this is where I want to start and I want a bell note. So I know I want it to be an A, so I'll just write on top A bell note. And I'll just put a little star there to show that that's where I'm going to start. And then here's my first cut. Um, I'm going to put my cut there. And then I'm going to cut this system as well, just do it without a ruler for now like that. And then I'm going to cut like that. And then I'm going to write above, cut, and then I do a star like that to show where I've cut to. There are loads of other ways you can do it, but this is the way that I do it. So that's your first page done. Second page, I'm singing all this, and there's a 2-4 bar. So I'm just going to pop that in, and I might even write at the top 2-4, like that. I am cutting from, he from here to here, but... I still need that marking because it's changing. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put the 6 8 above like that. And then what I'll do is I'll cross out that section that I don't need. So I've put my 6 8 mark, I've crossed out here, but I still need the word stop. So what I'll do is I'll just draw it in myself. Just draw my little quaver there and just put stop so that we know that I'm going to go there. So I've taken the word and the note that I'm going to sing and I've just popped it there instead. So I am going to take my highlighter and I'm just going to draw a little line from there to there. And I'm going to emphasise it in pen as well, just so you know, I put a little arrow on it, that you're going to cut from there to there. I'm singing all of this, but is there anything I need to be aware of? Not really. There's a crescendo and a forte mark and everything, um, which I might just colour in a little bit like this. Onto this page, there's an MP subito there, so suddenly moderately soft. So I'm going to colour that in just so that they know to bring the volume down a little bit there. And then we get into this next section. So there's a key change and a time signature change. Um, I don't need this here, so I'm going to get rid of it because I'm cutting all that. So again, take my pen. I don't need any of that. Cut this as well. Okay, so I've cut that and I've just put 4-4 four, four there because it's going into this 4-4 four, four bar and it's in D. So I'm just going to put there and emphasise that chord that's there so that we know that it's a D chord. So the, this is the key change really in this bar and um, it's in 4-4. Four, four. But if you're just playing like this for example and then you flip the page and think, ah, and I'm there, what am I playing? Well, it's a D. So... <clears throat> So I'm playing from there, when will they, when will they, when will they, playing all that through, all that through, get to there, to D major, so I know that there's going to be a, a key change, and it's there, I've just put the time signature change in as well. I'm playing through all of this, and I get here and I think, ooh, another key change into E flat, so what I will do is, I'll just take my little highlighter, I'll write key change, like this, and I'll write two. E flat and then it says faster so I'll just highlight that a little bit singing through all of this all of this all of this all of this and then we've got a poco right there with a time signature change and I'm singing all of this so I've decided that I'm gonna highlight this a little bit and the crescendo mark there leading into it then I'm gonna highlight there's a time signature change there and then this is where it is with the a tempo from the beginning so I'm gonna 
circle that and then put six eight there just so that we know it's dead obvious I can see and then there's another key change there so I'm gonna just pop that on key change to a minor now on my last couple of pages so I'm singing through all this da, da, da. I've got a row just it pulls back a little bit there so I think right I'm just gonna color that in a little bit and then I'm just gonna highlight my little crescendo marking too and then I'm at our tempo and I'll probably just circle those two as well just to make it that obvious because it's slowing down and then it's going back to the original speed playing through all of this I'm gonna put my cut mark here and then I'm going to cross that bar out because I don't need it. And I'm going to the top of this page. So I'm not playing that, but I'm cutting to here. Put my little circle like I do. And because there's a key change as well, I'm going to put which key it's cut into. To F major. And it's an F chord as well, which is good. So I finish there. And I go to there. Little crescendo mark in there. A row. And I might even put a tenuto mark in on there if I want to slow down. Or if I want to put a pause in, I'll put a pause in. Or if I want like a little breath, then I'll put a little breath in. And then I've got my little faster mark in at the end. And again, I'll just put a little circle around there. And then we all know that there's a big pause at the end there, big fermata. So I'll highlight all that, and then that's the end of the piece. I'm looking through. Bell note, brilliant. I know where I'm starting. You give them the tempo. Cut to there. You could even put an arrow if you really want to. Um, I might just go like that. Put a big arrow on it. Which can make it look a little bit messy, but it, I mean, as long as you know where you're cutting it to, that's fine. Two, four bar. I know I'm going to six, eight, and and I'm going to 6-8 and I've put an arrow because it's there because my mind when it gets to the end there doesn't need to process these two bars so it just needs to go straight down to there I've added my extra word in that I need because I've cut it I've got my crescendo lady to there my MF there so play all this, play all play on this so I've put cut there and here's my little star so I know where I'm cutting to on the other page it's gone to D and I've just highlighted the key signature play all this, play all this, play all this ooh there's another key change to E flat there play through there, play in all the other page, ooh there's a pop over it and there's another time signature change which I've marked in, another key change there to A minor which I've just marked in, play in all this, you've got your tempo changes there and then a play here, cut to F, so I know I'm going to F which is on this page, I've got my little star which shows me what I'm doing, play all this, play all this, play all this, row and then it gets a bit faster to the end, so this is just the way that I like to cut the sheet music and it works best for me and my students. It just means that um, I've used something bright so that you can see it's like a little goalpost. As a pianist I really can't stand it when people um, make cuts in pencil. I find that my mind um, works better when I have something visual that just leaps off the page. Some people prefer pencil actually and that's absolutely fine. Um, some people will probably say that this music looks too messy and there's too much on it. Um, but this is the way that I would do it just so it's got all the information that it needs to have especially with a piece like this when it's got loads of different things happening in it um, and can be quite awkward to cut and then you stick it together and you're good to go okay so i hope that's given you a few ideas of where to start if you're struggling to um, think about the ways that you can cut a piece of sheet music to take to an audition the aim is to just to make it dead clear and not really cluttered um, and to make the information stand out in the best possible way. I think most of the time when my students have their music cut like this in an audition um, they've been complimented on how well it's been presented and prepared which is really good. So it tells me that uh, different audition pianists find it really helpful to use. Subscribe below if you want to see more videos like this or give it a little thumbs up, that'd be great. See you in the next video.